Welcome back, everybody, to the world's worst fishing. Uh, I'm Chris Jones, and uh, drums have nothing to do with this video, um, but <clears throat> I enjoy playing. So anyway, today we're going to be showing you probably the most, um, I would say this is, this has to be the most uh, versatile mold I've ever seen, hands down, um, and uh, I can only be talking, of course, about the core shot stick worm mold. Okay, this is the one um, that makes the cool core shot effects on the stick worms, uh, where you have an outer shell color and then an inner color. Um, so it just it has this really cool effect. And uh, and for those who may not know, that's called a core shot. Um, culprit worms. Uh, culprit makes core shot worms. Um, so you've probably seen like their tomato watermelon core shot. Um, this mold allows you to do that, and you can do so so much more, so many more things. Um, so today, we're going to be uh, doing some core shots. So, uh, and this is uh, by our friends over at Angling AI. Um, they are just innovating so many cool things for the home tackle crafter, and uh, and this is, uh, I think, just one of his uh, just grand uh, accomplishments right here. So. Uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to be making, uh, we're going to be demonstrating the Angling AI Core Shot Stick Worm Mold, and uh, it's a real beauty. So we're going to go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so what is this thing? This is what it looks like. Um, so you can see um, it's a real common size. It's a five-inch stick worm, and you'll notice these rods here. Now, what in the world could that be for? Well. That is the secret sauce. So, you actually shoot the outer color first. Um, so for example, when you first shoot the mold, it's gonna be with these rods in place, okay? And you lay the rods in place, there's only one way they can fit. And basically what you're doing is you're shooting the outer color, which obviously fills in the cavity around this rod, okay? Then when you take the baits out, just imagine the bait is over the rod, you then slide the bait off the rod. So now you basically have a hollow stick worm. And then you place it back in the cavity. And then now whenever you fill the next color, the only place it can go is through the center of the worm filling in that core. And that's how you get that core shot effect. And uh, buddy, let me tell you, it is cool. We have a half measuring cup each of dead on plastic worm blend. Um, we're making relatively, you know, we're just going to do one run of this just to demonstrate the mold. And um, so we don't need much plastic. I'm actually going to do a laminate core shot. Um, so we're going to get all sorts of effects here and I think it's going to look really nice. So um, anyway, we're going to heat these up. We'll meet you back when they're cooked. We'll add some color and some flake and, uh, and then we'll get started on how this mold actually works. Okay, so while the plastisol is in the microwave, we need to remove these rods. All right, and we need to lubricate them because we want the bait to be able to slide off the rods so that we can then put that shell back into the mold. Okay, so uh, Josh at Angling AI, he recommends just any sort of uh, lubricant spray, uh, just a cheap, just some cheap spray lubricant. Um, anything really works. Um, I uh, actually, yeah, hold on. Almost forgot I have this. So I have some actually like really expensive lubricant. This is Interflon Fin Super. And uh, so I'm gonna lubricate my rods with that. However, you can always just drizzle some worm oil on them and uh, you know, just kind of rub it in. Um, anything that's gonna give a good lubrication um, because you, you don't want the baits to stick to the rods too much. So anyway, we're going to put these rods back in, okay? And like I said, there's really only one way they can go. However, if we look close, you can see the tip of that one is all the way in, and this one's not. So push it all the way to the side. 
all right that way you kind of cap off um, that way you kind of cap it off uh, that just seems to give me the best effect and so basically the um, as I was saying I, I got interrupted on a phone call but um, as I was saying the you, you'll see this kind of opening there you want the rod to be kind of placed in towards the tip and that will just make sure that the core um, goes all the way through the bait that that way the hole is there that way when you shoot the core the second color it will go all the way through the tip um, so you know that's uh, that's just how I've found it to maybe work a little bit better um, so you actually wind up having a slight little gap here on this end you'll see it can go that way or it can go that way I prefer it going that way so anyway we're uh, we're gonna take the plastic out and add some color all right so we have our plastic and we're gonna do like a uh, light purple and a uh, kind of a clear with silver flake laminate so we are not going to add much. This is black grape. So just a few drops. Okay, that's five drops of black grape. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah. Looking good. Just kind of a, a purple hue. It's, it's like a ghost purple. It's barely even there. Um, in fact, I may put just a tad more. Okay. Two more drops looks good to me. Okay. All right, so there's one half of our bait. And the other half, we're just gonna add some, uh, just gonna add some sparkle to it. This is just straight clear plastic. Then we're gonna add some fine silver, all right? Nothing too crazy. Not too much there. Uh, let's get a knife to stir with, okay. All right. So that's one side of the laminate, okay? And there's the other side. In fact, we're gonna add a little bit of black flake to both sides. So just a little bit to that side, a little bit to that side. And we are using very, very small portions. Um, you want your outer colors to be relatively see-through so that you can see your core. You definitely want to be able to see through to the core and so that may look thick but you can see it on the knife it's it's not thick at all so um, hopefully that will look okay all right so now we are actually ready to shoot the mold let me uh, back the camera up slightly here try to try to get a little a little bit better angle for actually shooting the bait um, and then let's see let's get both get both gloves on and you'll notice I'm not putting salt in this I'm only gonna salt the core because there again I want the outside to be uh, more or less see-through and when you add salt it just kind of thickens and clouds your color a little bit so we're just gonna shoot a standard laminate here okay nice even pressure all right that feels really good okay so again we have the purple side we have the clear side that should give us a nice laminate okay just kind of fill that up a little bit all right and there we go and now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these cups we're going to empty it out and then we're going to make a chartreuse core or something like that that's what I have in my mind so far I may change that once I see the actual shell of the bait um, but you know you want the core to be something bright or very visible um, just so that it shows up well so that you get a nice core shot effect okay let's look at what we have get it open here there we go all right so looking a little looking a little different huh but you can see that um, you can actually see the rods through the bait and uh, so that that gives me hope that our core will show up really well and and one thing that I like about the rods is that uh, if you leave these in here for a little while they're gonna 
I mean, your baits are definitely gonna cure nice and straight. The way you get these off is it just kind of breaks apart right there. And then you can just slide the bait right off. See, easy peasy, just comes right off. And uh, we just kind of set it back down in the mold. Not a problem. There again, slides right off. Okay, and the key to this is good lubricant. Um, worm oil, it's not this easy to slide off. Uh, that, that Fin Super is really expensive, really good lubricant. It's like $27 for that bottle. And uh, I mean, you can just see it, stuff just comes right off. So um, anyway, we're uh, just getting these off the rods real quick. Uh, I really like that laminate too. That's, that's gonna look cool. So um, anyway, let's pop that off. Get this one off here. All right, looking good. Now we're gonna kind of line these back up a little better. Um, and they go on pretty easily. The best way is just to line up that little egg, sh that little, uh, what are those called? Egg bleh, sack, the egg sack. Line up the egg sack, okay? And, uh, and then your bait usually goes in uh, without a glitch, so. Those actually all look pretty good. <laughs> that one right there needs adjusting, okay? All right, got that one in there. Okay. All right, I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get that one. All right, just make sure that they're seated in there right, that way the mold will close. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and close the mold. And we are ready to shoot the core. Okay, so here's our core plastic. We're gonna load it up with chartreuse, okay? Yeah, really get some chartreuse in there. How about that, okay? So we're going to give that a quick stir. All right, now we're gonna salt the, the core. and. Um, so, as I've mentioned before, um, the new dead-on plastic, it's a little heavier and denser and it already has a sink um, uh, action to it. So you don't need as much salt. And again, with the core shot, um, you know, it, the more kind of see-through, uh, opaque, I guess, or translucent, whatever you say, the, the more see-through your outer shell color is, the better you'll get the core effect. So I don't want to make the outer shell too thick and salt thickens things so in order to get the weight and sink that you might want um, out of a core shot stick bait um, you can add a bunch of salt to the core and uh, and then you're not worried about uh, messing up the whole look so anyway we're going to go ahead and shut our salt and uh, you know when you add cold salt or room temperature salt to your plastic it kind of thermal shocks it uh, it cools it down really quickly so we're going to pop this back in the microwave because you want your core to be shot pretty hot that way it makes it through the narrow tunnel of the bait and goes all the way through you know if you shoot this stuff at 310 degrees well it's probably not going to make it all the way through so we want this stuff blazing hot we're going to get it 350 or hotter and uh, and then we're going to shoot the cores here we have our salted core all right we're going to draw up and uh, you only need a single injector, obviously, for this part. All right. So we're gonna inject, hold plenty of pressure here just to make sure those cores go all the way through. All right. Make sure that you uh, have closed it very thoroughly. All right. So we're gonna top that off a little bit. Okay. That's how you use the mold. All right. Drum roll, please. Let's see if we got anything good. There we go. Come on. Oh yeah. Check that out. That is pretty dang sweet. So, now we can take them out and look at that kind of have the one side without the without the silver in it the purple then you have the clear side with the uh, purple so eh. take them off the
bumper there. Look at that, guys. Don't know, uh, eh. Don't know how well that's showing up. In fact, let's get them over a white surface. Man, eh, you know what? I don't even know the best way to show that here. <laughs> that's, that's what we get. That is just unbeatable, guys. That is, it's just the coolest way to make a stick worm. And, uh, I'm glad that I that I finally got my hands on this mold. Well, so here they are again, and uh, there's a good shot of it eh, right there. You can see kind of the laminate right down the center, the core in the middle, and uh, yeah, I think they uh, eh. Well, knew that was gonna happen. Anyway, I think they turned out pretty cool. So, what do you guys think? Yeah, there we go, getting some sunlight on them. They got plenty of sparkle now, so a really cool mold that gets really, really cool effects. Okay, everybody, um, so now we've come to the uh, portion of the video where we're doing the, uh, we're selecting the winner for the most recent bait giveaway. Free baits, yes sir, another free bait giveaway. So, um, we uh, are giving away, uh, well, you know what, let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look here at what we're giving away. Um, Mondo swim bait, coral snake hand pours, uh, predator blood, uh, uh, swirl stick worms, some cool little swim baits. I'm also giving away, I also added um, some, uh, da, 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 uh, golly, California 420 stuff. Um, so that's what we're doing. So we have this video uploaded to the comment picker. 223 unique comments, so thank you to everyone who commented on here that you um, shared the video. Um, I just, it got quite a bit of comments, so um, if, if I didn't like your comment or respond, uh, my apologies. Uh, that I just, I, I, don't, I don't get uh, but so much time during the week. So, without further ado, let's pick a winner. Boom! T-Buds Outdoors, okay, shared, hope I win. So, um, contact me, worldsworstfishing at gmail.com. And um, this is actually the second comment. The first time I clicked it, it went to a comment that was something completely different and uh, and the, the person didn't actually share, uh, well, they didn't uh, comment shared. So the first comment um, was just kind of a, a, a random comment. Um, Thank you for that comment. It just wasn't a shared comment. So just trying to be fair um, to everyone who, um, you know, entered the contest and wrote shared. I, I clicked again a second time and uh, and here's what we got. So this is the first comment that I came to was shared. And uh, so thank you, T-Buds Outdoors. Um, contact me and we'll get those baits on their way. Well, everybody, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Got the Z6 behind me because we're going fishing tomorrow. So it's uh, today is Friday, uh, March 1st, actually. And um, yeah, it's yeah, March 1st. So uh, tomorrow we're going fishing, uh, going back out with Simple Jack again. And we're taking his fiance's uh, younger brother, Brandon, fishing. So um, gonna be three of us out in the boat. And uh, I definitely think we'll catch him. The weather is just perfect. It's prespawn.com out here. So um, we're gonna go back to uh, to some lakes uh, in my home neighborhood um, that we're very familiar with and hopefully get another slugfest on film and uh, I'm taking these core shots with me so fingers crossed that uh, that we'll get a few uh, bites on those uh, I don't see why we wouldn't we caught some uh, caught plenty of worm fish last trip so anyway that's gonna wrap it up um, hope you enjoyed the video check out that mold you will not regret it you can do so many things we're gonna have so many more videos featuring that mold um, I can't wait to do some like swirl core shots, some split tail core shots and some other things. It's coming. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, thanks. Thank you so uh, much. So guys for tuning in, shoot me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And, uh, thanks for watching.